Hello there. This is Dave Motohead out here in the wonderful high desert on a beautiful December day. And uh, this video today is going to be about something I've been working on for a little while. And I think I finally got it perfected. And it's something that's going to be really cool for uh, redoing cars and bodywork and paint and stuff like that. So let me uh, put on the hat cam here and I'll show you what it is I'm talking about. Just hold on one second. And what we've got going today, hat cam in place. I believe the hat cam's in place. Is we've got rotisserie trailer. Ooh, ah, look at it sparkle. And what this is, is this is a, my car trailer that has been heavily modified to incorporate a auto twirler rotisserie that my good buddy and cohort and Corvair Crime purchased. And uh, with this unit, I'll be able to jack cars up like this and rotisserate them for sandblasting and body prep and paint job underneath and top and everything. And uh, then when the car is not on the trailer, it will actually go back onto its original tripod so we can move it around the shop. And if you see here, we've welded a plate across my trailer right here. Steel plate, well, there's a peg in there. And then this post will slide down over the top. And then this post will come in with the lock here and lock it in place, which will give it this kind of, oh, look at that. My finger's hanging out my glove will give it stability going this way and uh, so that's that was pretty easy to make that part there had my welder buddy make that up and then you can see it's tied together with the original tie uh, posts and then I've incorporated these cantilever pieces here that are all welded up tight so uh, to mount the rear the rear pod here which uh, the rear tripod which uh, hangs over a little bit because the car is too long to incorporate all this stuff. And uh, I've made fender mounts here, or uh, bumper mounts that screw on to the bumper location. You can see that's nice and tight. And another one here. And so we've got this car jacked up, and you just jack it up with the, with the uh, jacks, and you put a pin in it. And uh, I think I've got this thing all balanced and ready to go. And you say, all right, well, I need to work on the roof. Well, all you got to do is just spin the sucker like that. And there you go. Now you got the roof. Got that thing perfectly balanced there like that. And uh, I can just spin it around with one hand. Real easy. Then, you know, if I want to work on this other part, just flip her right upside down like that. Look how easy that is. I can do it with one hand. And uh, what's going to be cool about it is I can transport it on the trailer now and get it blasted or body work or roll cage or anything like that. And if I want to work on the bottom, I just spin her around and there we go. Now I can work on the bottom. And uh, I've got this thing perfectly balanced on here now. And then if you ever want to keep it exactly where it's at while you're pounding on it, you just tighten up this lock nut here and it'll lock it in place. And, and there you go. So that's kind of a going to be a cool tool and I can trailer it around. And when I uh, let it down on the ground here, I, you know, I, I can lower the body down and set it right on the trailer. And, Go take it to the painter after the blaster's done blasting it, and just, uh, you know, it's per pretty easy there. You can just stand back, and it practically spins itself. So, uh, anyway, I think that's a pretty cool tool right there. I can just uh, do whatever I want with it now. and Just, uh, just one arm, and I can, I can spin this thing all the way around with just one hand. And it pretty much stays wherever it is. Anyways, uh, that's that. Let me get the, the regular hat back on. So you don't see my ugly hairdo. Anyways, that's the rotisserie trailer I've been working on. And I'm glad it's finally finished. And uh, it's going to be really cool for doing 
body work and paint work and blasting work and roll bar work and every other kind of work you can think of and it's portable I can tow it around so this is Dave Motohead and thanks for watching